In this film we're going to have a look at updating the firmware inside the LH101. Um, to do that you'll need a, a Windows PC and the Lent CV editor as well as a special cable for updating it which is a USB to the telephone socket style. Uh, we've got them, they can be posted uh, for the cost of post and packing. Alternatively, we can perform the update in the shop if you want to give us a shout and book an appointment or uh, post them in. Uh, it will be done if it's posted in, it will be again done for the cost of return postage. So, you can find out the software version of your LH101 when you first plug it in, it lights up, and there it came up version 2. You also can go into the menu and go round to set up LH101, turn it round until you get a software version, yeah, version number showing, sorry, and click, and there, there's the version, and to get out of there you just press escape. I'm trying to do this from the screen, I'm trying to work out what the best way of showing this is. Um, to get the Lent CV editor, you can go to the lentselectronic.de website and you can go to Digital Plus, click on there, and in this listing here, the CV editor. And at the bottom there, there's a couple of items, one picture there, software and data packet. So there's two downloads. You download the software and download the data packet. Um, these all appear in your computer's downloads and if you click back to downloads, there, there's the, the data packet. I've got two copies of them here now. Um, if you go the right click and extract all, and then you can extract it into your libraries, uh, and it will unzip the files. Once you've extracted the files, um, the CV editor I've put into a folder called CV Editor 2.05, and there is uh, an .exe file here, CV Editor v2.05. When you double-click on that, it will take you some instructions to install the program. If you've got an earlier version of the Lent CV Editor, it will ask you to go in and uninstall that. So you'll have to go into your Program Manager and uninstall the previous version before you can put that on. What I've also done is extract the data packet and the data packet contains um, decoder firmware. <laughs> driver software so you want to install the driver software so you can connect your PC to your um, uh, the handset. And once that's installed, you can run the, the CV editor. So in there I've also got the firmware updates for the two handsets. Um, LH101 being the one that I'm interested in here. So I can cut that down. The CV editor I ended up with a shortcut. So we can click on that. Brings up the CV editor program. And the final tab here is set up and down here it says LH101 update. Connected the USB cable into my computer. Got the handset there. This is going to be really difficult to do. Um, let's with the camera in the way. 
So what you want to do is you want to press and hold the knob whilst you connect it. And that puts it into bootloader. Sometimes on screen it comes up with that BLU3 and it says such for, for searching. So the first time I connected it, it took a bit of time for it to actually find the COM port. Probably about five minutes. Um, it's because my old computer is getting a bit crotchety. I think a, a newer computer will be faster. So once it's connected, um, you can check in your device manager, devices and printers. There we are, we've got the printers and everything, and up comes this thing, CDC, CCS, CDC bootloader, and it says COMPORT13, COM13. So we know which one it's coming on, and you can pull it down from the drop down list on the update page in the, the CV editor. Connect, bootloader found. Um, the folder here it says update file and it's empty so I need to go to where I've downloaded that data packet and I've put it in a folder here I, I moved it so it's LH101 version 2.1 firmware that's there so that's now the folder that we're going to transfer update and it says read successful writing firmware a little green bar will start tooling across the screen. It takes a couple of minutes to, to go through. And obviously don't disconnect anything whilst you're doing that, because it will just say update, lauf, and dot dot dot. So it's thinking about it. Right, so it's almost finished. The little green bar's almost there. And there, update successful and then the, the screen resets on the handset shows the new version on there briefly yeah and then no connection to command station because well it isn't <laughs> so we're now okay to disconnect it from there now the new firmware is on there and version 2.10 flashes up so that's all done